Hey everyone and welcome back to Alaska Living the Dream Fish Reports. I'm going to hit you with a quick report here going into the weekend, get you caught up on what's happening and what's not. One is poor, five spinning glows is red hot. We got some action happening here. I would say the fishing overall is mediocre around South Central. Uh, kings are starting to taper off, a lot of restrictions came out. Uh, reds are starting to slow down some places, starting to pop at other places. So let's get right into it. Our favorite fishery, the Seward Snagin, kind of had an up and down week. Seems like the mornings have been pretty quiet and those afternoon tides, evenings have been producing. All the spots have been producing out at Spring Creek, uh, off Old McDonald's, off the river mouth there. I expect the same thing. There's going to be good days, there's going to be bad days, but for sure there's going to be a lot of people there. Probably a couple hundred of your best friends and neighbors. The king snagging off the culverts there, worth a shot as those fish get later and later in the season, they're going to be circling out there. Probably a better shot to get a king than uh, the last couple weekends right now. Ship Creek Kings, like 28 pounders leading the derby. They've had some good days, bad days overall. Gave it two spinning glows. Doesn't seem like the fishing's red hot, but fish are still being caught and some nice fish. Including a tail race. Haven't really heard much out there this week. Uh, one spinning glow, I imagine the boat fishers are doing better than the uh, people actually up in the river uh, from the bank. Kasilov River Kings, we had an uh, emergency order that closed bait starting today on the Kasilov. So you're gonna see those king rates catch rates really drop off and you're going to see a lot of the guides and everybody switch over to sockeye. Sockeye numbers look really promising, really good. Uh, it's probably going to be another banger year for sockeye and it's only going to get better. Uh, June 25th is your dip net opener down there uh, as well on the lower end of the Casilla. Homer Kings, uh, be looking for the emergency order for the open snagging towards the end of the month. Uh, gave that two spinning glows. There's kings in there. Pretty tough to get them to bite. Kenai River trout's been good. First run reds are still picking some of those up that are headed to the Russian River, but trout is the main focus right now until those second run reds come in. Uh, Russian River. It's been kind of slow up there since the opener. And I know guys and guides have been working hard to try to get some fish on the bank. I think this is going to be the spot. If something's got to give, those fish have been building in the sanctuary. The numbers up river look pretty decent, but people just aren't seeing them in the river. It's been high water. The water's going to drop. These fish are going to stack. They're going to push in. Russian rivers due for some good days here in the next, I would say, five to ten days. It could be good, and it could start popping as early as the next day or two. So that's our report. For the week get out there fill some coolers be safe the halibut fishing's been pretty consistent we're getting into some bigger tides but you know uh if you like the reports like the page check out our youtube or not i don't care but uh give us some love out there and uh tight lines and we'll see you on the next report